Hi everyone, it's Paola. You're joining me from my desk, actually. So you're facing the rest of my house. And yes, it is Christmassy. There's my tree. And yes, if you see American Girl dolls over there, mind your business. They're part of my Christmas decor, okay? If you know, you know. Yes, you are joining me at my desk because I figured I couldn't leave you at the end of the year without a designing video. And this video, I hope, will be very helpful to a lot of you who are wanting to learn more about type and grid type and let's just chat about it because i'm very passionate about it honestly it's very hot today i had the air on sorry if you can hear it a bit um but everything would probably like implode if i didn't have the air conditioning on with all this tech running and let's just jump into grid typography okay so honestly guys this is gonna be kind of like a tutorial design with me type of video i have been thinking about some things i want to do with grid type and i just thought what a great opportunity to discuss it on my channel okay so we're working with adobe illustrator here as you can see just opening a file and it's actually a very simple setup it's a very creative fun process to get started with grids um what you want to do is go into your illustrator settings and go into guides and grids just open any type of illustrator file, honestly. And so under guides and grids, you can change the color of your grid, which I just love a pink. Um, and then I can decide if it's gonna be lines or dots. And then right here, it's going to be grid line every whatever, depending on your document. So every 72 pixels here and in subdivisions of eight. So I will show you what that looks like and how that changes, but you can change that as you want. Grids in back, yes, okay. So then we're gonna go into a view in here and we're gonna say show grid. So then the grid that exists will actually come up. So here it is, it's pink and it's wild, right? So there's a lot of subdivisions here. So let's go back into the settings and I can show you how that changes. So in here, we're gonna change the subdivisions to four. See how that changed it a bit? Let's do that again. Let's change it to two and see what that looks like. See, so it's even a bigger grid. So it kind of just changes the look and where you can start working from. And yeah, honestly, it's pretty simple. It's like kind of sometimes has to do a little bit of math if you're like really wanting to be precise, but I always just kind of wing it and have fun, um, especially because I'm not good at math or numbers. Okay, but I'm really loving this um, subdivisions of eight, and I think that's a great place to go from. So what we're also going to do before we start working is going into view, we're going to hit snap to grid so that our actual boxes that I'm going to be using in here, our squares, they're going to snap to the lines in within the grid as you work. So here, let me show you. So just selecting that rectangle tool, you just, Da -da. it snaps to the grid you don't have to worry about going over the lines being not within the lines like it's just going to give you the perfect easy like i'm literally just clicking and dragging snapped so very easy very straightforward guys i don't usually do tutorial like videos on my channel so let me know if you like this style of video i am actually really into this like just giving you kind of fun approachable ways to get into design because I really love it and I, I love making things and I know like a lot of you like the way I talk about things hopefully so let's get into more okay so in my opinion you can start practicing by copying over top of text so if that's what gets you into understanding this grid system and how you want it to look then by all means do that like it's you're not gonna get in trouble for <laughs> working and designing how you want and Again, I don't think I'm the type of person to come to if you want like super quick design. This is very much a process and a fun figuring out type of style. So if you're not into that, don't tell me, <laughs> don't leave a comment. Okay, so what we're gonna start with is kind of a thicker typeface. And then we're actually just gonna create outlines from this in here and then make it bigger hold shift to expand oh my god i'm like full tutorial mode guys and then we're just going to place this in here and so i actually think that this grid to start just like showing you a big kind of bold letter this grid is a bit small so let's change it so let's do that and see how it's just kind of placed within these squares now you can kind of see the visuals of like where things are going to match up 
So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to change the color of it to like a gray. And then I'm going to take the opacity down so that when we do our boxes, you can kind of see through it. So yeah, we're not trying to do anything fancy. We're not doing any other shapes. We're not doing circles. We're not doing half squares yet. You know what I mean? Like we are just building. And this is a great place to start. This is a great place to start understanding what you actually do. It's very simple, especially with a big block letter. I think grids work amazingly to do like black letter style just very thick fun type um you don't have to do like sorry my computer's working a little bit slow because i'm running a million things but you don't have to do like very intricate things right away you can just get started like this and like try not to be tempted to do just one rectangle to like fill in the shape like this is about building up so right we're moving from here to here. We're not just doing like one big rectangle. So like just cover up where those shapes are and then see what you're creating individually, not what you think it should look like. And like, it really just doesn't have to be perfect. You can also just use the type underneath as a reference if you're just like getting into it for the first time, right? You can start changing things. You can also go into with the A tool and start deleting corners if that helps you kind of makes it a little bit more funky and yes you can break all the rules once you learn them like you're really not bound to one thing i'm just showing you the fundamentals of getting started so again with that direct selection a on the keyboard i'm just doing like half to see what that would look like so let's go in with something a bit more intricate i would say but not even i mean it's just as simple as that big block letter it's going to be just as simple. We're just gonna do it a bit more free form. And like, it's just all about play. I love this type of stuff. I love design this way. Oh, it just makes me so happy. I'm actually just so happy that I'm sitting here teaching you this. Okay, so this is an N from Bookmania Light. If you're looking for the typeface, this is on the glyphs. Um, but anyway, I already made it an outline, created outlines for it, and I'm making it gray, and I'm gonna bring down that opacity again just so we can kind of see through it and work that way. Okay, then bringing in our black boxes on top, I'm gonna get started with a bit of a thinner, more fun style. I really love this because it's very satisfying to kind of zoom in and work intricately and start looking at what you wanna do. But then when you zoom out, it can create something like really beautiful that you just didn't expect. Um, and it also helps when you zoom out, you can see some parts are looking clunky, some parts like you want to change, you want it to look a bit more smooth. Like it's very fun to create different types of shapes with something that's so constraining, like a grid. Like, can I make a grid look like luxurious or flowy or like, is it, does it have movement and it's not so static? Once you get comfortable and you start practicing more, it's really great to just start creating your own typefaces out of this, like your own letter forms, your own custom letters. Like what is it that you wanna do with this design work? Um, it's just very fun, new approach to type that I know is like very trendy right now, but I love it, I always have. And I've been working with this um, since my early typography class days. So like this was a big project for us. Like we learned how to do grids so what we're going to do is create a logo and then we're going to create like the grid version of it you guys have hopefully seen my little like mood boards i've been working on with the very like ski winter vibe that's very much a brand that's kind of in my head just kind of something fun like a ski chalet rental or like booking accommodation place like i don't know i'm just like brainstorming created all of this right like we're just having fun it's not like its own typeface now it's its own logo so you can bring in your own logos and kind of create a grid version which is what I'm going to do mm -hmm. 
So for this one, maybe the negative space is kind of showing something more than the used space. So if I were to delete these, I think that kind of gets the point across a bit better. I'm loving how this looks. I think it's so fun. It's kind of like snow, so it definitely evokes that feeling. And yeah, I just think it's cool. Also just did want to mention that now that you know the fundamentals of grids and grid typography you can start making stuff like this i found these photos on pinterest and they just really inspired me you can start pushing the boundaries with what you know about it what's elegant what's flowy what's static do different shapes do different sizes do circles do squares it's just a whole new world so have fun okay so that was a little create with me kind of tutorial video i hope you enjoyed it if you did, please give it a like. It really helps my channel when you like the videos and also let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see. Um, we have one more video after this for the end of the year and then I'm just ready for like a fresh start and doing so much more fun stuff with you guys. So please subscribe, please ring the bell and yeah, make sure you're notified when I upload. I will see you in the next one and yeah, I'm so happy I did this. Okay, bye!